Her Majesty is received by Lieutenant General Sir Wentworth Harmon when she motors over from Windsor to spend a day with the officers and men and their wives and children of the Queen's Bays, the Second Dragoon Guards at Tidworth. The Queen looks a radiant figure in a suit of silk crepe with a halo hat. And surely these little girls and boys will tell the story of today's adventures to their children and grandchildren. Her Majesty is Colonel-in-Chief of the Queen's Bays, and since the famous regiment is now fully mechanized, Her Majesty is faced by a long line of dark tanks when she comes into the arena to present the new standard. The Queen hands the standard to Lieutenant Colonel Beddington and then steps forward to address the regiment. This is the first time that I have had the opportunity of seeing my regiment on parade in its present form. I therefore commit this standard to your keeping, fully confident that it will be an inspiration to you in the future and a symbol of devoted service to your regiment, your country and your king. As the tanks roar into action, they take a leaf out of the Navy's book. Each in turn raises and dips its guns in salute. And do we perhaps see a look of pride in the face of our Queen as she sees the might of Britain's new army? <laughs> <laughs> 